What makes you the happiest? What gives you genuine happiness? Watching my cat get stuck somewhere stupid. Then yelling for help. The best place so far was in a cabinet over the stove. I think it may be the only time I am ever genuinely happy when I am in that state of going to sleep. Where I think. But at the same time I am neither asleep nor awake. It feels like I am entirely detached from the physical world. Free of fear. And pain. Being outside with no people around. Live in a city and I get up super early and just walk around before everyone else is out. Best part of my day. When I manage to make my friends day by making them laugh. I honestly get so happy when they are happy. Edit. Holy thank you everyone for the awards. I hope you all have a very good day. I really love to hear about other people's hobbies, passions, interests. It never fails to make me smile. Equally. My hobbies, passions, interests make me happy. Plenty of my favorite food eaten together with fam. Harvesting fruits, veggies from plants which I grew myself and then gifting the harvest to others. I love to grow blueberries and hope I will have lots next year. Married people of Reddit. What's something you wish unmarried people knew? Liking your partner is just as important if not more than loving them. Only the couple sets the rules of what their marriage is. Not your mother. Not your friends. Not TV. Just you. That actually applies to all relationships. Getting married doesn't mean that you're never going to feel lonely again. Getting married will not help solve any issues in your relationship. Being married 20 years. I'm guilty of it sometimes too. But being in a long-term relationship like that just makes you an expert on your own relationship. Not on relationships in general. We can sometimes forget that. Just because it works well in our own life. Doesn't mean it will work for others. When you're a young couple. Dozens of older couples are going to tell you what works for them. The best thing to do is understand that it's coming from a place of caring. And some will be good advice. But you've got to just find what works for you. Talk to your partner before you make decisions. I can't even tell you how much shit I get from my single friends when I tell them I'll check with my husband before agreeing to do something. Usually it's just to make sure we don't have something else going on that I forgot about. Or maybe he wanted to do something and I haven't brought it up. It's not asking permission. It's being conscientious of your partner. It's especially true if you have kids. No. I don't ask my husband to babysit. But it would be pretty shitty for me to just say, oh hey. I'm going out tonight. Have fun with a couple toddlers by yourself and with no notice. And he treats me with the same respect. Without naming where you're from, what is something your area is known for? Mistaking a monkey for a French spy, putting it on trial, and hanging it. People locked up in basements also Red Bull, Schnitzel, Mozart and Falco. Video game dev powerhouse fueled by maple syrup. Broken dreams. Blue meth and poor navigational decisions for rabbits. Maple syrup. What are you glad isn't cool anymore? Saying, keep calm and whatever. Single quote dot. Edit. Blimey. Thanks for the upvotes and awards. Here's a thank you from me. HTTPS. Imageflip.com slash I slash 5 MVKPG. That awkward moment when anything with extreme in the title straight out a blank i liked the movie and the story of nwa but it became so overused the early 2000s makeup trends consisting of orange foundation extremely pale pink lipstick and ruler drawn extra thin eyebrows please god never bring this shit again lead in paint and gasoline what is taboo, but should be considered normal? 
ironically, not having social media. Allowing people to review new information or becoming enlightened by a new perspective. And saying, I've changed my mind on these topics. Without burning them at the stake for their former beliefs. Doing stuff on your own, instead of with friends, partner. Miscarriages. They're incredibly common and are so traumatic. Yet there's still such stigma and oddly shameful connotations surrounding them that those who experience one often have to keep their struggles private. It's a bizarre and outdated attitude. Men working at a daycare or at the after school. I worked mostly at the after school for a couple of years and only knew a few guys also working within the same company only at different locations. Kids need both role models in their lives. Walking into schools and picking up the kids. Every day it felt like being famous. Getting hugs and yelling my name and all. Parents liked it also and questioned more men should doing these jobs. The problem was working hours, salary so most won't taking the job sadly. Therapy, mental health. Especially for men. Seriously. It's mind-boggling how many people still look at it askance in this day and age. Gordon Ramsay shows up at your door and demands you cook him something. Assuming obtaining ingredients isn't an issue. What do you cook him? Cup of water. Undercooked scallops so I can hear him say, it's fucking raw, to my face. Top ramen. Scrambled eggs. Overcooked. Unseasoned filet mignon served on a roof tile instead of a plate. Doused in an incredibly overpowering sauce that I thought of in a dream. The meat was cooked last night. Thrown in the fridge on the same tray as raw meat. And then boiled before serving on a stove that hasn't been cleaned in 20 years and has a grease. Trap that looks like it's filled with crude oil. The side is store-bought frozen ravioli reheated in a microwave with canned ragu. But I told him it's fresh and made in-house. The first course is a salad with improperly washed grilled lettuce. And it's dressing as a cultural fusion between two cultures that have no business meeting. The dessert is half a slice of chocolate cake that is clearly from the cheesecake factory that I bought a week ago. The fork has a bit of dried food stuck to it and there's gum underneath the table. When questioned, I insist that I made everything that morning and pull out photos to prove it. He doesn't believe me. I call him an egocentric liar who doesn't know what he's talking about. As he leaves, I pocket the tip he left for the waiter. I want sloppy joes therefore he is getting sloppy joes. Conservatives of Reddit. What are your views on federal marijuana legalization? I live in a conservative state and I think everyone I know just wants it to be legal already. Just put a tax on it so I don't have to worry about getting arrested every time I pick up. But I doubt we will actually see federal legalization anytime soon. Conservative and a criminal defense attorney. I want marijuana legalized. I've never had a client beat his wife because he was high on pot. Never had a client crash his car while high on pot. Alcohol is 1,000 times worse. One of the big problems is that police unions do not want to legalize marijuana because the odor of marijuana, at least in NC, is valid probable cause to search vehicles and persons. Law enforcement officers use the odor of marijuana as a pretext to search and find evidence of greater crimes. Law enforcement is very reluctant to give up such an easy shortcut around the Fourth Amendment. I'm conservative. You can't be okay with alcohol and not weed unless you are a massive hypocrite. I think not legalizing it is a wasted opportunity and for the life of me can't figure out why it's not already federally legal. It's also overwhelmingly supported across the entire population. So I feel like it's a massive error for Republican candidates to be anti-legalization. Legalize it. I'm all for ending the war on drugs and increasing the sentencing for violent crimes. 
specifically armed robbery. I'm all for legal weed. I chose not to partake though not my thing. Legalize it. Tax it. Build schools and bridges. Fund addiction treatment for genuinely dangerous drugs. Subscribe my brothers.